What's up? As you know, I was about to go off. <laughs> I was nice and hot, upset at my sister last night. So, well, just 15 minutes ago, probably 20 minutes ago, lit it. So, so I try to go back to sleep. <laughs> I said, well, let me talk about Shia LaBeouf. Now, Shia LaBeau went on the Five Fingers of Death Challenge, took that, and went ahead and did something that, you know, people didn't think he could do. Uh, Shia LaBeau can rap. I've known that for a little bit now. It's not like he's new to this. It's just the public never really seen him as a rapper or anything he's always been in the rap now how did I think he did and people's like what you think about Shia LaBeau you know in his rap I mean of course it was written but he stumbled a little out the gate but comparing him to other MCs that have come and take the five finger challenge and five fingers of death and all of this stuff I mean They don't, they don't really have rappers right now, so, or guys that you can consider rappers. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you think Tory, Tory Lanez or Little Uzi Vert could have came there and did what Shia LaBeau did? I mean, he's better than them. Literally, he's better than them. Better than all these mumbles. The mumbling dudes. Better than all of them. So. The freestyles. I mean some of them he did a lot better. Especially to the beats. He really was on point. But he stumbled a little coming out the gate. It's not bad. He picked it up. He did what he's supposed to do. Now. Some people are like, who you think he could beat in the game? In the game? Plenty of dudes in the game he could beat. Or that he's better than. Why? Because the majority of these people suck. And that's just the gist of it. So if you suck, this is like your punishment. I mean, this is like exposing you. Because if you could rap, why you ain't out there doing this? And for all those dudes who can't rap, you know, this is your avenue to prove that you can't. Go on that show. Show you can spit where your 21 savages and all of them dudes, where they at? Why they ain't doing it? You know what I'm saying? Go spit your whack lyrics on the Sway in the morning show. Go spit it. Shia LaBeau did it. And he's an actor. He's just showing y'all. Lyrics count for something. But isn't it funny that. When people always talk about the lyrics. When a white rapper get up there. And start spitting. Talking about the lyrics. If Eminem do a rhyme. it's His lyrical content is cold. The lyrics matter. Ain't that crazy? But if one of these dudes who get up there and don't spit any lyrics, oh man, the beat go hard, you just hating. It ain't always about the lyrics. How is that? You just praising Eminem. <laughs> so Eminem is the only one that can have lyrical content and be accepted, right? When he spit, he ain't no old school, man. He just old school, man. He caught up in all that old school stuff. But if he spit it, it's all good. Uh, all right, I guess I get it now. You know? See, I need this. This is therapy. I'm really mad at my sister right now. Really mad. I'm trying to die down. So I'm not so frustrated. 
but I am very proud of Shia LaBeouf. You know? Yeah. That's about it, man. I mean, y'all wanted my opinion on it. I really think he was sharp. I really think he was precise. And I just think he stumbled a little coming out the gate, but I think he did his thing once he got roped. And that's just the gist of it. I hate to come out and name all these young rappers, like Lil Uzi Bird, like Lil Yachi shouldn't even be put in a rap category. They need to have their own category for these type of guys. Because I don't know what it is that they do, but they're, they're not lyrical enough to be really considered to be rappers to me. You know, and people say, well, what's lyrical and what's, I just don't know what their contribution really is. You know, I don't know what it is that they got. I think it's just another form of pop music that they need to be put in because they're not like MCs, <laughs> but they get squuzzed into the rap category, you know, so you are forced to deal with it in the rap genre. So they have to be treated as rappers and MCs. So unfortunately, I have to treat y'all like that because that's where they put y'all. So y'all are in the realm where you must be dealt with. And you will be dealt with very harshly. So on that note, me being super critical of rappers in general, this is right up their alley. Me, I'm just sitting here chilling, trying to calm down and not go in there and get angry and embarrass my sister and yell at everybody. I have to save that for later on. So I have to remain calm because I'm pretty upset. So... I'll handle that at a different time. And I'll choose the way I want to do it. I ain't kind of made up my mind how I don't want to approach it. But it is what it is. You know, at this point. But y'all know me. I say how I feel. And I don't say stuff for shock value. I don't say things just to be sad. If I tell y'all Isaiah Thomas is the greatest basketball player to ever touch a basketball, you know I mean that. <laughs> like I tell you that. I don't tell you this just to be, I want to get some hit. I say it because I mean it, something. I stand by it. When I tell you the greatest basketball team ever assembled, I'm telling you that because I know it to be true. I don't tell you that just to be telling you that. They don't make a 30 for 30 for you just because. They make a 30-30 for you because you were something to be marveled at. <laughs> you need to be featured. They called the 85 Bears. They made a 30 for 30 for them, right? And called them one of the what greatest NFL champion teams of all time. That's why they got a 30 for 30. They made a 30 for 30 for them. Why do you think? There was something to be marveled at. Now. Shia LaBeouf, who's an actor, did what he had to do, held it down, ripped the mic. Now it's going to be okay. Where are the other actors? <laughs> when are they going to come in here? Actors are going to be getting the praise, of course. He's Jewish. He's going to definitely get praise. He got a lot of roles in Hollywood based off him being Jewish. He told Hollywood, go screw themselves. He made a film called Nymphomaniac. Part one and two, which is like a four-hour porn movie. 
and it was only on special release rental that you can get on DVD and he basically downed every movie he ever did hated every movie he made um, Transformers is what made him famous he hated every last one of them, <laughs> bashed the scripts, bashed Indiana Jones and the Kingdom Skull, even though he was in it, he still bashed the people who made it and ended up ruining his career. Got in a couple of bar fights, got beat up, uh, married the chick he made the Nymphomaniac movie with, so I guess he banged down the movie, banged down in real life. <laughs> and... This guy really just does what he wants to do. He rented a movie theater where he actually had all of his movies that he starred in playing and he watched it with the fans. All of his movies, I'm like, dude, you were in movies that people never even heard of or liked. And how did you ever get the rights to pull that off? Like, people didn't even know he was in iRobot. He had bit roles in all of these movies and every single last one of them were playing in a movie theater for people who were fans of him. <sighs> That's a lot of movies. That's a lot of time being wasted. <laughs> like Some of them were great. Some of them were really bad. And uh, there's no way I could have sat through all those movies. And... Now he's an MC. So expect the Shia LaBeau rap mixtape or whatever to come out soon based off this. And of course it did what it's supposed to do. It got people turning their heads going, Shia LaBeouf got bars. It's not that hard. All you did was basically attack all you guys who are not using bars. It's very simple. Very simple. I've done it plenty of times on here. Other people have done it. I won't be doing it again. So that's just it. I just don't have the energy or the passion to want to do it because basically I'm not getting any money. <laughs> so if I'm, you pay me, then I care enough. But other than that, I don't care about it that much. Yeah. And today, I'll just listen to beats and all this. Car got faster. Money got longer. <laughs> you know. Y'all want that to represent the music? Yeah. That's something to say about y'all. Because <laughs> I still can't get over y'all like using that as a tool to say, this is what it's at. This is what's hot right now. I need this in my car. Sorry, I don't feel it. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Don't forget to follow the playlist, subscribe. There's plenty of stuff on there. You know, I'm still on vacay, still relaxing, still chilling, you know, with the fam, enjoying the times, you know, did the whole Universal Studios thing, you know, I'm getting old, man. That just showed me I was old. Can't be doing these roller coasters and stuff <laughs> no more. My feet need to be on the ground. I need to be in a rocking chair. Or a relaxing sofa kicking back. Y'all got that. I ain't made for standing in no lines. Nothing. <laughs>